Hello to every one of you out there. I'm David Oshin. I'm going to teach you today on um, how to create your WordPress website. So um, in class, I explained um, the, you know, the theory part on how to get here, that you need to get your domain name. You need to actually go to a domain registrar to get your domain name. And that's one. And also you need to actually host your you know your domain name so you need to get a domain name and a hosting company to host it now when that is done you get into the c panel you get the c panel for the domain registry they will give you a c panel you log into your c panel then you can download your wordpress website when you download it and you do the installation then you can give in the um, url um, that takes you right into this place so you have the the admin url that will bring you right into this place so this is the back end of my website i told you i'm going to start directly from the website straight away so if you have any question as to how to get here just drop it uh, in the comment section of just drop it in the page then we'll be able to sort that one out but this is where we are starting from really um so when you have your wordpress website like this um the first thing you want to do is look at all it i said to look like this see all the stuffs um you have the dashboard you have home you have this for updates you have this for post under post you have all posts add new you have categories you have tags just like in the um that's um the blog the blogger you have tags, but in Blogger, they don't call it tags, they call it labels. So here we have tags, we have categories. I've explained that already. We have media. This is so for the library to add new media, like uh, you want to add audio file or a video file. This is pages. You said pages are static or posts. Posts are, you know, updated. You know, then this is for the comments. This is appearance for how the website is going to look like. Your appearance of your website everything about it comes under this platform here yeah? under this yeah part here now this is for plugins plugins are just like apps you know on your your system on sorry on your web websites that you need to make your website so increase the functionality of your website just make it look more beautiful and add more you know complexity to it add various you know uh, beautiful stuff to the to the website yeah, you have users, um, you have all users, add new, new profile, you have tools, you have settings. So let's start from somewhere. Um, let me start. This is home. Click on that. It takes me. Yes. See, that's home. This home. If I want to go to the front end of my website, what I would do, I would just click on this, my blog. Then I click on view site. You can see when I come here. It takes me the front end of my website. So, like I told you, look at it. On oh, it's written here, my blog, my WordPress blog. A sample page. A sample page. Then this is um uncategorized. Hello world. Uh, welcome to WordPress. This is your first post. Edit or delete. Then start writing. So, now. I don't like the way this one looks like. I have to do some things there. I have to change the themes, uh, make a beautiful theme that will be able to fit into what I want to do. Uh, maybe for me, I want to run something like a fashion kind of website. I can't use this for fashion for kind of loud. It doesn't look presentable. Or uh, if I want to run something like maybe. Um, a school website i can't use this for a school website it doesn't look presentable so i have to go into the teams and check out for the teams that actually works with my own kind of website so the point is this is a website what's in your mind what kind of website do you want to build you want to build a fashion website a news website so what you want to build is what informs the kind of team that you know you want to have so your team is based on what you intend to build with your website and that means that you have something like you know a pre-knowledge of what you really want to do when you want to have a website there should be something that comes to your mind and what you want to use a website to do 
you know, you shouldn't just like, okay, now when you now have the word saying like, oh, what am I going to do with it? You have something that you have cap, you you maybe cap, you designed, like, okay, this is how I want my website to look like. So you can just maybe write a sheet, on a sheet of paper, just like, okay, I want a, maybe a fashion website, I want a news website, I want an e-commerce website, whatever it is. I want a website that will serve me. I would like to have. That's why we, we call this very interesting because you can design what you want. I would like to have my website this way. I would like to put maybe I would like to put the school. Maybe I want to have a school website. The school building will be around here. You know, I will put a. You know, visitors can click here to see to pay in their school. Just whatever it is you want to do, you have the liberty to just choose. Now, so let me go back. This is where my dashboard is. Dashboard. So what is post about? All post. Yes, about you know your content. When you want to add your content to the website for people to see, you have to come to post. Post is where you add content. So there's a there's a post that comes with um, every WordPress website, and that's what they write here. Um, that's a low world. It's taking time to load today. Again. Yeah, so it's downloading. Now you can see here yeah, it's writing welcome to block editor. In the WordPress editor, each paragraph image or video is presented as a distinct block of content. So I said I'm going to explain to you what a block editor is. In block editor, you know, look at something like the header is an H for the header, is maybe this is for a picture or video. This is for pictures, hmm? it's for quotes. Now everything has a block. That's how the block editor is. So if you want to write your sub, your heading, your heading is going to be inside a block. Look at the block like this, and then your picture, video will be in another block. Your picture will be in another block. So they make it a, a block editor, just like different things will be in different blocks. All right. So we have it like this. Let's just next and next and next. Let me get started. So look at the block. See what we mean. Hello world. See, it's inside a block. Look at it like a block. It's what we call a block. Hmm? So I can edit it now. Maybe I edit it like okay. Yeah, I like maybe. Okay. Or maybe like a welcome. Of digital in the school. So I'm um, with something like welcome to digital learning school. So yeah, you're yeah, writing for us. Welcome to what is your first post. I did delete start writing. Okay. Now this is one block so in block editor here now you can't you see this is all in one block here let me write this in capital letter this is another block here control a let me just no welcome to digital in school this is this is a school Where we unlock your hidden potentials, no, hidden potentials, and we release you.
you know to be digitally equipped equipped I think I got that wrong equipped to rule your world or something like that's that's something that's that's a post now to rule okay. your world uh something like this so this is another block okay so that's what we're talking about so this is my post i can just decide to post so what all these things what do they mean this is um a kind of block you can convert this thing to a quote like let's say i put i just control a now like i mean control a okay all right so what i want to explain is this you can convert this to now to a quote like if i press it like this and i press quote so it looks like a quote this like just you just see this landing part here landing part here and you can write your citation here I can convert it back. No, I can convert it back. So that's the thing. Now you here also you can align the text to the left. You can also align the text to the center. You can also align the text to the right. It depends on you. Yeah. You have more options. You can insert um, before a post, like maybe you want to insert a word before this, or insert a word after this. You can you know, different things. You can even remove the block. You can have two, three more blocks. You can remove one of the block there. So that is it. So what do I need to do now? I can decide to uh, publish, but because there was a post here before. There was a post here before, so it's not going to post, it's going to update. I'm just going to update, okay? So I can view my post now. Welcome to the Island School. Um, okay, see, it's different from what was written there before. So once I click on this, Island School, one comment, okay, it's less than two. So, is writing there on categorized because I've not yet done my categories. I'm going to go to categories to just pay attention. So let me go back to the dashboard now because that was already a post that we edited. So let's add a new post. Let's add a new post. This new post now you can have a new title. Okay, uh, maybe you have a title like um. Learn how to design a website. Okay, that's one block. And that block, I can decide that I want to put a picture. Okay, I, I did this, you know, enter to let it go down. So every time you do say say this is the enter now to let it go down, but by doing enter that's from the block. See a block here. Is a block here. Is another block here. So I can now decide in this place I want to add a picture. Learn how to design a website. When you want to add a picture, you click on this place here. You click here. Then you can see different things and code gallery this image is to add one picture when you put gallery like you're adding more than one picture so and I'm, I'm clicking on image then it brings me to this place where it's right upload media that um, library inside from url so media library means the pictures that are inside 
the WordPress library already. Now, insert from URL means like if you have um, the URL of the picture, you can just insert the URL, the picture is going to show. Or you want to upload from the system, you can upload like this. You can just click upload, maybe um, something like a picture now. Um, like I used to use, uh, let's say something like a WordPress here, yeah? or maybe something like this. That is my picture. Uh huh. Something like this. So yeah, that's my picture there. All right. So. Then I have to design a website. So I'm putting my picture there first, and then I want to write a write up on that. Okay, I will be teaching you guys how to design a word class. Work class by our standard work class website. Okay, so I'll be teaching you guys how to design a work class website. I can just write, 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 write on that. Yeah? So I can continue. Oh, in this class, as in that. See, this is one block. Is on that block. So any enter like a paragraph just takes a new block. In this class, I think I should start it. If this one ends with a um, full stop, I think I just start with capital letter here. Yeah? All right. So in this class, um, you will learn. You will learn. Learn the following. Maybe see that's another block again. I can do something like this one. Um, what a website is. What a website is. Okay, maybe two. That's another block. Maybe two something like that. What a domain is. And tell about I can just be writing like that, like that, like that, like that. So all this is I told you this is about turning to quotes. In line, change the alignment to the left or the right or something like that. And this one is for bold. You can set to bolding this stuff like this. Oh no, no, no. I'm just taking one part, please. So I can decide to just make it bolder like this, just put it bold. Or turn to its links like this. Uh -huh. Now this one is a link, a link. For example, now what a domain is, I can now write something like this. If you want to learn more, want to learn more. Click here. So on this place I write here now, I want to put a link, for example, now. I can just highlight this part here and then maybe make it, make it bolder so they can see it or make it italics too, so they can know it's different. And I click on this link here. This link will bring me to type a URL there. Mm -hmm. Type a URL. So I can now say HTTPS, I can put something like this. And I'll say you no know, HTTP slash slash maybe digital learning school. I think that's the name of the blog that we created that time. Digital learning school. Oh, one. 
at Twitter name is school o one dot blogspot dot blogspot dot com. Okay. Twitter name is school o one dot blogspot. Okay. So we have that. Okay. So I'll put a link now. I'm teaching you guys how to design a website. This class you will learn what the website is. You will learn. So if you want to learn more, click here. See that. Now, what else again? I've done my pictures, I've done all of the stuff. So let me come here. Let me come up a little bit. Now there's something you can do with pictures. I can click on my picture like this now. Now, when I click on the picture, if you look at this other side, you see that it brought out something like this. Okay, see, I was clicking here before. Look at this. Now, I'm clicking on the picture. See, there's a change. So, if you're using a phone also, when you click on the picture, you click on the settings part, you see this change there. Now, this change talks about alternative text. Describe the purpose of the image. So, there is something you can learn in Matlin how to do. That every image you have, always try and type something to the alt text because this alt text describes the purpose of the image. That means if someone is searching for that in um, an article online, for example, now, you know, this image is probably going to come out with the article. So you can just search for, sometimes, you know, people that look for pictures online can just search for an article and just click on images. So it's going, any image that is related to that is going to bring it up. So I can just write, you know how to uh, what's the topic again? Um, how to design a website. So, oh, let me click on the image. So, how to design a website. Now, um, you know, you don't need a system to do this, you can do it with your phone. So, don't be scared. So, it uh, I've described the purpose of the image. I can now go back to document here. The document. It's telling us status and visibility. Do you want to make it public? Or I don't want to make it public. You can decide to make it public or not. You can change to private. You want to publish it immediately or you want to delay. You can click it on delay. You can change it to, to, to Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Anytime. You can put any time you want. That's to schedule a post. You can schedule a post to what time you want. You want to stick to the top of the blog. That means anytime they come to the blog, that's only what they're going to be seeing first. Then um, permalink is about the link of how the link will be. Then categories. Now I've taught you about categories and tags. Tags are just basic things people can search for keywords on the internet, like maybe someone is searching for uh, maybe something like a um, website. Um, someone can also be searching for designs. Someone can also be searching for, I mean, website design. So these are related terms to this website design, I want to learn, how can I learn about, how can I design a website? So it's possible that it takes them to this page because I'm teaching on learn how to design a website. So how can I just write design a website or I want to learn how to design a website. How can I get the place to learn it? They can bring it to this page where I'm here teaching them how to learn a website. So that's tags for you. So in tags here, I can just write something like hashtag Websites. Okay, then I separate it by a comma. Even on YouTube, you separate by a comma, it will be separate. Okay, then under hashtag, then a website. I'm correct. Comma, you separated it. Under hashtag, maybe I'm the one teaching, I can write David or Shane. That's in case people come looking for me. Uh, that's the you know the number looking for you then you know right there. then you can write uh, maybe something like um website design you get uh-huh so different things that just relate to your post just write them down there so you close this then you can now go to straight to categories. You need to create your categories. I've not created categories yet. So this one, you need to structure it. How do you want your website to be? 
if for example you are running fashion you can have different categories based on you can have categories of actual okay vs and that category of lace wear so i can just write in this first category maybe it has like actual okay actual okay i click on it i click on it so i can have another category like lace i can have article like english wear so i have like you can have different categories like this category that means every time i'm posting any clothes of actual okay i will just post it to Asha OK category. If I, if I want to do a clot on list, I'm supposed to list category. So everything will be under different categories. So when people come and search, they can just search the category and they will see every clot on the Asha OK. They will see every clot on that list. So that's what category is putting different things in different categories. All right. So for me, I'm not doing Asha OK now. Uh, maybe I can put this one under the website category. Under the category of websites. Okay, add new category. Then I can have under category like maybe digital marketing. Digital marketing, for example. Okay, I had category. So anytime I'm posting about website, I'll post it to this place. When I'm posting the market, I'll post to this place. So that, that's how it works. So let's move on now. Then, um, do you want to feature an image? So because if you are posting the blog now, a news or something like that, you need to feature an image. So feature an image means that when they look at the right of they will see an image beside it. Yes. So it's telling you the maximum upload is 512 megabytes. So of, of course, your image is lesser than that. I have posted one image here already. So that means on our media library, I'm supposed to see my image. Look at the only image here. Now, I can also write alt text here. The purpose of the image, maybe how to learn website, right? If I'm wrong, tell me. Oh. So, I can come down description. I can write the description about the image, and I can set picture image. All right, you see what I've done now. So now in that one, that one we had updates, but in this one we have published because this is a new post. So I think I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So I just do what a preview. Let me see how it looks like. Let me see a preview. Tell me, tells me how it's gonna look like. Yeah, on preview, see how it looks like. On preview, see how it looks like. Okay, I'll be teaching you how to design a website. This class, you will learn the following what's the website, what's the domain is, and if you want to learn more, click here. I can use that in this course. So, on preview, it looks like this. So, I can say, okay, it's fine. On preview, let me go back. These are the categories. So, I can decide to go back and publish. He's asking me that you want to publish now or later. I want to publish it now. All right. So when I publish, I can view my post and view it my post. So this is my post now. Then I have to design a website. Okay. Then that's the fit. That's the, the featured. That's where the the featured image is showing first. Featured image is showing first. So now. This is, I'll teach you guys how to design a work class website. In this class, you learn how to do the following. Now, so I told you about this um, link here, right? I told you how to do that. So look at the tags. David Oshin, just like this sign of label in Blogger. David Oshin, learning website, website design, website. Uh, so someone like, wow, this guy teaches how to design a website. I really want to know how to design a website. Okay, let me just click here. So I'm clicking here. See where it takes me to. It takes me to digital learning blog. Look at that. And I created a, a, a post on it. I'll create a Facebook page. Okay, so I think we did that in class. I just said I just um, paste it here. Now, why is it showing this? Because this is the blog. This is about updated information. This was the last thing I put here. I put this on June 30th. That was the last thing I put it. That's why it's showing it first. 
Mm-hmm. It's not even showing me the first post I, I actually had. So uh, this was the first post, I think, or second post I had. So that's why I told you a blog shows the last post first. So it's showing me this post. Then next, it's showing me the post before that. Showing me the post before that. So the next is showing me, you know, like that. So I've only had two posts here, two posts. Okay, so that's how you see, you put link. I just told you how to put link now. So let's move on, let's move on. So I really want to see my website. Um, let's move on. So I've talked about posts, I've talked about ad new, I've talked about categories, I've talked about tags. Now for media, really, uh, media, you want to upload stuff. Like I just uploaded a picture here. Yeah? I can decide I want to upload uh, maybe a file. The maximum file should be 512. I can upload a video, you know, maybe a video or something. I don't know if there's a video here. Um, no, any videos like that. This is a sample video of wildlife. I can upload a video, for example, now. I can upload a video. I can write the title here, the caption, description, and the link, or something like that. So, I can upload the video. It's already uploading. It takes time. I think it's a lot of megabytes. It takes time to upload. So, it will, it will, it will be true. So, let me tell you about other things. Then, we have what we call pages. I think you have, as a website owner, you should have, like, minimum, like, three, four pages. Now, if you should have a contact page, uh, people should be able to contact, or should be able to contact you there. You have, number one, you have an home page, that's, that's what shows. If you have a contact page, then you should have, um, you know, yes, um, there's one page, again, privacy. You know, every website is supposed to have its privacy page. The privacy page is like, you know, what are the things that, you know, that is the privacy on your website? For example, who safe comes to your website? Let us know the data you collect from them. What are you using data to do? Get okay, that's a page. I'm going to show you. In fact, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to see it now. I'm going to see it now that that privacy comes directly with all pages. I think so. I think so. So, because they want websites to have a um, privacy page, so it's possible that they will put it there. So, you just publish it yourself and just make people to see it. Okay, so I've talked about a contact page. Then you need to have an about me page, about us page. What is your website about? So you need to have an app. So the pages are static, remember. Unlike post, posts are updated. Pages are static. You don't, your address, for example, about me page now. That's the purpose of the website. Don't now change it tomorrow. Like this website is for fashion. Then tomorrow, like, no, I want to turn the website to be to maybe sports. Then next tomorrow. So you know, your pages are actually static. You know, your address, for example, like a contact me page, your address should be static to an extent. That means you don't change your answers every second. Um, like not every second, like every one month. So this is my video. See the website link, current, the link of the video, copy link of the video. Hmm? So this is the title of the video, wildlife. Okay does wmv ah is it going to show like this all right so um let me go to the pages i'm talking about i said pages let's see all the pages yeah see what i said privacy policy okay privacy policy sample page privacy policy comes with now well, you can see that now let's see the privacy policy privacy policy who are we this one is just uh, is given to you by wordpress who are we our website is https testing dot or testing dot let's test it something just something like that then we move on like okay so i created this website just to be a test I'm going to test so Comments. Now you're going to fill this thing up yourself. Huh? You're going to fill it up like, okay, who are we? This is going to be gotten from your about us. When you're about us, when you have your about us, then you can fill it there. 
Now, what personal data do, do we collect and why do we collect? We're going to write, as a website owner, what personal data do you collect from people? Do you collect any personal data? And what are you using it for? Because in this age of uh, internet robbery now, I call it internet robbery, 419 and then, uh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Before they quote me that I said, uh, uh, poppy something. But anyway, um, I didn't see anything, though. No. hope you know that. Uh, so, but in these days of internet robbery and forge, forgery and um, all manner of things, people actually are careful about the kind of information they leave on websites. So, it's, it's wrong for you to sell your information, people's information to. So, the, how these guys operate that they steal people's information, your details, your email, everything, they steal it and use it to go and dump it, you know, and collect money from somewhere. So, once people want to know your web is their web actually come to your website is it safe for them i hope you're not giving people your their information on the back door so you tell them whatever it is then you tell them for comment when visitors leave comments on the site we collect the data shown in the comment form and um, so this is different different things you just read it up yourself then you can easily now adjust what you need to adjust them so you need to publish this mm -hmm. you need to publish this after you have adjusted your own, just publish it as a page. Okay. So let's view page. We can view page from here. So oh we yeah, are this, 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 that, 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 like that, like that. You fill up all this stuff. Why are you sharing your data with? How long will you retain data? All these things, you, you write them. No, no, for how to write them. Your content information, you write it, additional information. How we put it in that I write everything there. Okay. So that's that. And um, we'll move on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. So you need to add your pages. This is um, sample page. Let's trash this one first. So let's see, let's add pages like um, we need to add something like a maybe about me page. Like about me. About me. So what is about me or about us? No, I write about, about us page. So what's about us? You can write out digital learning school. Learning school. No, a school that unlocks. You know, unlocks the potentials. The potentials like that, like that, like that. So you just write your about us, da, 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 da. And you publish, you know, you publish it. Then look at page, mm -hmm. publish it. And also you can write your about us, same way you can also write your um, contact us page, just write your contact us page and things like that. Now form another one. You can create another one, contact us. You contact us. Fill in your details, how they can contact you. Right there, you publish it. And just like or any other page you want to put there, you can just put it there quickly. So let's move on. So we move to comments, please. Under comments, here yeah, we have a lot of stuff you need to do here. All the comments people make on your blog, you're going to see it here. You're going to see it in this place here. Appearance. Appearance. There are different things that appear. There's the themes, there's the customized, there's the widget, menu, background, da, 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 like that. Now, the first is we go to themes because we really need to the themes of this website. So now I told you it depends on what you really want to do. Um, if I want to run something like um, a fashion website, 
I may just search for a team that talks about there are a lot of things on WordPress. Lots of things on WordPress. These are the ones that are installed with you that came together with this WordPress package. That is inside the install teams. One, two, three. Hmm? 2017 team, 2019 team, 2020 team, like that. So you can add your own if you want. Just add your own team, add new. These are the featured ones that I installed. These are the popular. You can write maybe popular ones. These are popular ones. Or you can even upload to you can go to WordPress.org. Okay, so different teams. Look at this. Today is great. View the website with Ashka. Now, doesn't mean that the website will look like this, but these are the format of the website will look like. Mm -hmm. You will fill in your own details there. So you can look for different things, as many as possible. Any one that you feel is beautiful enough. A lot, a lot. Okay, I can even do something now. You know, I can do something now. I can go to the top. Now, I can search for a team that is more fashion related, like fashion. Fashion. It's going to bring me a team of fashion so it's right in here club fashion fashion designer avid fashion uh -huh, something like this okay let me scroll down a little bit let me scroll down so oh i, I think i like this one i can install When you install, you need to activate also. So let me see what actually I did. This is site. Let me see. Let me see if it's fine. Okay. Oh, look at this. Wow. So now, this doesn't mean that I will, uh, you can put your own there. You can edit, you just have to look for this, the space, the, um, the width and the banner size there. You can, this is beautiful. Mm? You can decide to put your own. That's why you need to learn all these things together. You need to learn graphic design, you need to learn the digital hands. Like a graphic designer can design something beautiful like this. Just put it on top there. Very beautiful. So, look at how it is. Now we have. The search button, it comes with the search button here. Then this is my post, my only post. Then also, that's why I said a website needs a blog and um, a static page. So these blogs are what people can search for and come to your page. Hmm? Then all these things that are here, recent posts, recent comments, and all of these ones are what they call the, you know, the widgets. I'm gonna talk about them later. So I may want to remove them. So you can see now on top, you have your about us page, you have the contact us page, you have the privacy policy. See, the more I have, the more the pages will be on top of because these are just static pages. If it's going to be on your phone, it may not show like this. No phone compresses the phone, doesn't make it big. Hmm? It may not show like this, but it may show in a different way. But you still see it's going to be there. So you can, it, one thing that's always good is always, you know, Anytime you design something on the system, check it on your phone because you need to actually be phone friendly. If not phone friendly, people may not visit your website. Not, not everybody will be coming through. A lot of people come through phones, not even through um, what they call them now. Through a system or a laptop. So that is that. Now I can now move on and go back. I, I think I like this. Let me go to appearance. I put things there. Let me talk about customize. Customize my site. For customize now. Let me see. I think I've spent some time. Um, I have to continue later because the battery is weak. Even when I charge the battery, I'll just continue.
All right, so yes, it's open already. Now you can see this is what they call the C fashion score light. Okay. The first thing I want to do here is site identity. I can change it to the name of my site. Uh, maybe I want the name of my site to be maybe fashion house. Fashion house. Then tagline, tagline means what's going to be under it. You're going to see tagline now, fashion house. Uh, maybe my tagline, the best fashion house in Nigeria. The site icon. This site icon, okay, if you can see the screen, you see this here, digital learning blog. This B here is a site icon that belongs to blogger. Every site always have a site icon. Let me open mine first. Okay, look at Google here. See a site icon for Google. Now see mine, this is site icon here. This is Facebook site icon. This is Gmail site icon. Instagram site icon. So that's how site icon works. So the site icon now is going to be a square. So something like maybe 512 by 512. You have to measure, you have to design something of that nature. So that will be your site icon. So if I publish this now, if that is a site icon, when you open your site, you show showing WordPress. WordPress site. Uh, so showing w wordpress so let me see my site fashion house yes yeah, fashion house the best fashion house in nigeria you get uh-huh looking cool right mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm just showing you okay so we still have a lot of work to do um, customize. Let's take a customize. All right, see, second is this home banner. You can add, you know, add text at this banner space. You, know, you can write anything on the right there. You can add a link there, just your choice. The light, the footer, you can write here copyright. Write copyright sign, copyright. Uh, that's copy, shift. What is that supposed to be now? I can't really see it here again. So, I'll look for it somewhere, 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 somewhere. I'm going to see it. So, you can even just write it like this copyright. 
Uh -huh. By copyright 2020. By the fashionista. Uh -huh. The fashionista designer. All right, so we publish that. You can write design and develop. Design and developed by fashionista. Yes. As you design your website, customize it. Uh -huh, so then you can social link at the foot. Social link your Facebook link, your Twitter link, your YouTube link, LinkedIn link. You can write it there. Then colors. In case you want to change the color, you want to turn the white. You want to turn it to black or something. You want to turn it to black. Turn it to black ahead, something like this. I want to leave it as white. Depends on you. Okay, depends on you. Publish. Then you still move on. Then you want to have an header image. You can have an image on the top. They, they are giving you the size. Now this we have here. The size of this image here is 1,400 by 500. So if you want to change it to your own, you have to do something of 1,004 by 500 to change this to your own. That will captivate it, just be your own like that. Then background image, you can have a background image that covers it. Then also, we have menus. Yeah, this menu. There are three spots of menu, really. There are three spots. Uh, look at it. We have the top account, top menu. You can create menu for the top here. Yeah? We have the primary menu. That's the spot that explains it better. That's the navigator button on the middle here. Yeah? Then we have the footer menu. So, what does this menu mean? You can create a menu. Uh, in this menu here, um, I want to take time to explain this one. So, because of it, I will call, I will come back to this one in the next episode. I will release another video for this. So, let's stop here and let's. Um, I want to hear from you how far what you learned from this. So, share it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you, thank you.